Welcome to the chapter Dividing into Equal Parts. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Learn how to divide the things into equal parts. Explain how to share equal parts with the individuals by dividing. Illustrate the different methods of sharing. Now, we are going to learn how to divide into equal parts. Grandmother planned to distribute rotis to children on the occasion of festival. So, she called the children. There are 32 rotis with grandmother and the number of children is 8. She wants to share the rotis equally among all the children. So, she has implemented an idea to share the rotis equally. Do you know how she calculated it? Let's see how. At first, she started distributing one roti to each person. After distribution, she was left with 24. Now again, she distributed the remaining rotis as one roti for each person. After distribution, she was left with 16. Now again, she distributed the remaining rotis as one roti for each person. After distribution, she was left with 8. Now again, she distributed the remaining rotis as one roti for each person. Finally, after distribution, each person got 4 rotis. This can also be calculated by the number of students with respect to the number of rotis. To share the things equally, we can use the division. Let us see another example for equal sharing, that is division. Suppose Ramu brought 20 pencils for his 4 kids and asked them to share equally. How did they share and how many pencils did each of them get? Let's see. Kid 1 started distributing the pencils one after the other to each of them. Finally, each of them got 5 pencils. By doing this, it will take more time. In the simplest way, we can divide 20 by 4 and the result is 5. Each of them will get 5 pencils. Let us see some exercise problems. Let us perform an activity on division. Drag and drop the appropriate answers in the boxes. Let us see how to divide the things into equal. Lakshmi has one biscuit. She divides that biscuit into two pieces equally and gives to her two children. So, each child will get one piece out of two pieces or half of the biscuit. This is written as 1 by 2. So, 1 divided by 2 is equal to 1 by 2. Now, let us see one more example of dividing into equal parts. Here, Ramya has five biscuits. She tried to divide these five biscuits among four children. She gave one biscuit to each child and one more was left. Now, she divided that one biscuit into four equal parts and gave to four children. So, each child got one full biscuit and one fourth of the biscuit. That is 5 by 4. Now, we do an activity on dividing into equal. Drag and drop the appropriate answers in the given boxes by dividing the rotis equally.
Let us know the method of dividing into equal parts and shading them. Take one square box. Now divide it into four equal parts. And then shade two parts out of four parts. Here the shaded part is 2 by 4. Here 2 refers to the shaded portion and 4 refers to the total area. Let us perform an activity on dividing into parts. Drag and drop the appropriate fraction in the boxes given below. For example, one has been done for you. Here we will do another activity to find the shaded the parts according to the fraction. Select an option from group A and match with an option from group B. Let us see some exercise problems. Let us perform an activity on division of equal parts. Drag and drop the appropriate answers in the boxes given below. Practice Joan Try to solve the questions on your own. Click Submit button to verify your answers. Summary Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. Division is splitting into equal parts or groups. The slash symbol or the division symbol is used to represent the splitting of the numbers. Follow-up work What is the total number in your class? What part of your class is girls and what is the remaining part? What part of the students are present in your class? What part of the students are absent in your class? You have 20 pens and from that you have given 1 by 4 of the pens to your friend. Then how many pens are there with you? Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter dividing into equal parts.